Oh, hi. Uh, it's me again, Kel. Um, last week, I did an unboxing of this uh, Xiaomi. And after using it for two weeks, I'm ready to review with you uh, what this Xiaomi is all about. Okay. Um, when I was when I first unboxed this Xiaomi, I thought it's a typical China phone, you know. You know the quality we expect from China phone. Not so good, right? The camera sucks, the phone is sluggish and it's easily going to So I've come to see that this Xiaomi is not exactly the typical China phone that uh, you would expect. The quality, I'm here to tell you, is very similar to other phones that are in the market right now, the one that uh, produce mass market. Uh, for me, typically I'm an architectural assistant, my day job includes uh, managing people, managing timelines, schedules that, that makes a project run on time. So for Xiaomi, I think from design-wise, it fits my character because uh, it has a really unique case on the outside. Very nice, very stylish uh, case that I can bring this phone to the side and also back to the office and it still looks like it belongs to me. You know, it, it doesn't look like some you know, cheap ass contractor phone where I can you know, see what people are doing in their, in their phone. Okay, so basically this phone suits my line of career and I will review with you in detail exactly what do I use in this uh, this phone itself. Okay, let's take a seat. Uh, okay. All right. For the phone itself, you will see that uh, the front page includes a app page where you can actually slide between the apps. Okay. This is the general one where all the apps are linked into one whole page, singular apps. And this one, I've actually created a few folders uh, where you can group certain apps together. You know, see this part. This is my messaging and the social network uh, messaging uh, group. And this one is where I put all those things that are I use them not quite often. And this one is where all the tools that I need to use between uh, traveling from places to places I have Google Maps, I have Uber, I have Hostel World because the moment you travel certain places you need this kind of info to get you around right that's the use of the smartphone so the good thing about this thing is that you can group most of the info together but um, I find that there's a certain limitation to this because uh, Android Certain Android uh, phones, they can actually have widgets. And we talked about widgets, it's supposed to uh, display all this functionality. For example, I use quite often, which is the calculator. I'll show you in this screen. I have a, actually a calculator installed. Uh, a widget looks something like this. Where you have this in the main page. Really cool. You, the moment you just swipe and you can have a calculator at hand. How cool is that? It's very convenient and efficient, especially in my line of work where we do a lot of calculation on the spot. Uh, especially when you need to know like uh, how much is the step to step level, uh, what is the size of the door. Uh, certain dimensioning can be done on the spot, on this page itself. So, uh, the other limitation I find is that only certain widgets appear to have uh, capability to be placed on the front page. Uh, I would like to have this uh, particular widget, which is a Google Keep. Uh, Google Keep is a really important app that I'll be using for quite a while. This app is very functional, very efficient, and it makes your workflow uh, more organized. So uh, this app, I'll just show you something similar to this. Uh, the moment you click on, you have a long list of things. Uh, it can be to do this. It can be. Uh, what you need to do in the future or your plans I really like this app this is one of the perfect app that I find uh, useful in my line of work and also uh, in a way to organize my life so coming back to the apps I find that uh, Xiaomi actually does a really good job in providing uh, top quality apps that can be used uh, with this phone itself uh, however there seems to be a really uh, limitation to the kind of apps that appear here as well. 
uh, because I got this phone from China. Um, so the pre-installed apps, uh, most of them are Chinese, Chinese made. So um, if I want to install Google Maps or anything that related to Google, uh, because of certain geographic limitations, they don't actually um, encourage the use of Google. So I have to find this uh, really nice uh, add-on, which is uh, allows you to use Google app on this phone. Um, if you happen to buy this phone in other places, like for example Malaysia or Singapore, it usually will not have this problem. Now let us go more into the performance of this phone. Um, as I say, this phone itself is a really nifty tool for what I do as an as a assistant architect. But I'm curious because sometimes I just like to have a bit of a leisure time. I like to uh, listen to music, like really good music, not the typical pop, popish kind of music. Uh, I see a bit of videos on YouTube. I play a bit of games. You know, recently there's been a, a Pokemon craze. I, I try to download this on this phone and I try to see how how well does this phone perform with uh, Pokemon Go. Because Pokemon Go itself, uh, I notice it's, it doesn't run smoothly in all phones. Uh, particularly, this phone is quite, uh, quite uh, old. It's not exactly new, but anyway, let me just show you. Right? Now this Pokemon Go is actually loading and while loading let me tell you a bit more about how I try to incorporate uh, the use of this phone in a day to day life. Uh, okay. Say for example when I bring this phone to the office, I will try to use this phone to lock, just to check on what, what I have to do day to day. Like uh, we are the man of today right, so we have to try to find out uh, what exactly is keeping us busy so we don't waste our time so we are more efficient at work and so on oh let's see Pokemon Go uh, has a new version would you like to update now okay uh, all right since I'm not really playing this game and I do not want to waste my uh, uh, data I decided to not show you this okay Let's just say the Pokemon Go runs well in this uh, this device, it's just a bit laggish. Uh, but this can be fixed if this device was launched uh, almost the same time as when Pokemon Go is launched. Okay. I use a bit a bit other a bit more of other apps, uh, stuff like you know finance, you can actually download a lot of uh, bank bank apps. Bank app is really uh, is a really cool and uh, efficient way of doing your banking online. Uh, you know, you do like uh, day to day transfer of rent, uh, you do payment of bills. Okay, I have it all in my hands. Uh, I'm a man of today, right? So, so now let, let me just try you know, the most important uh, function, which is one of them is the camera tool. I like camera because usually in my line of work, I will go to a site. Uh, Whenever I spot something that is uh, of error or you know something doesn't feel right, I would use the camera. Uh, in this case, is a I believe it's a eight megapixel camera, right? It takes clear, sharp uh, pictures, whether it's a low light or daylight. See, I'll take, I'll just take a an autofocus uh, mode. Okay, let's preview that. Okay. See the saturation of this color is is near to what what I see here. You know. The option though is pretty limited because uh, this itself is not exactly a camera phone, right? It is a simple phone by today's standard. It captures real photos pretty quickly, and uh, for my line of work, it is perfect. However. Camera does have its limitation. There is not so many functions. Uh, Mode-wise, it's only panorama, manual, tilt shift, and beautify. Okay, beautify is a pretty important function if you like to take a selfie pictures. Um, what this does is actually when whenever you press this beautify, right? Uh, 
you can switch this camera to the front facing camera mode where you can actually see yourself here you know like doing a selfie right and <laughs> the funny thing is when you when you focus your face here it detects your age and your sex can you see this right zoom in you see that i'm i'm considered a, a male age 30 which is pretty accurate according to what <laughs> what, what my birth date is so pretty amazing thing after i take a selfie photo let's say smile okay you see it actually makes the picture clearer sharper and less of the the small uh how to say the flaws on your face like all the papers they will just remove it instant photoshop that's what i'm talking about camera should be this way it should be well suited for whatever purpose they are going whether it's into the construction site in the nightclub uh, while working you try to take some photos of yourself doing the work or you try to do a bit of selfies so really good phone check it out uh, it has done a lot for me um, if i were to buy xiaomi again i would consider because uh, xiaomi 3 in my experience is a pretty good phone it suits me really well and uh, if you like this review comment subscribe and follow me see you next time